When someone decides to follow Christ, their life is changed forever. Death turns to life. Despair changes to hope. Dark becomes light. It's a deep, quiet moment that could easily be kept hidden. But a change this profound can't stay a secret for long. It's time for the world to see what God has done. For we were once in darkness, but now we are light in the Lord. Baptism is an act of faith. It's a celebration, a beacon cutting through the fog, a message to the world that a lost cause has been redeemed, that God is here and he is transforming lives. So embrace this moment. Declare his glory. And let your light shine.
sing that again, church. I'll, I'll say yes. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you. So church on today, we gathered in the same way that our Savior gathered on 2,000 years ago. The Bible says that there was a day that he came and his cousin was out there by the name of John the Baptist, was baptizing those in the wilderness. The Bible says he was baptizing those and telling them, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. The Bible says people came out of the cities to be baptized. They came from both near and far. But then there was one, the Bible says, that came to be baptized by John the Baptist. People was wondering who he was for 30 years. People was wondering just what this man is all about. But then this man showed up on the scene and his cousin stood in the Jordan River and said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. The Bible says that he was baptized. The Bible says that the heavens opened up. The Bible says that the Spirit of God descended upon Jesus like a dove and said, Hear my son, in whom I'm well pleased. And so the Bible teaches us that we as believers, that we're to be baptized we have the opportunity in the same way as Jesus was. Now, we understand that baptism doesn't save you. This is just the city water of Lake Butler. This doesn't save anybody. But what baptism is, it is a declaration that I belong to God. So that when the devil shows up, you can say, wait a minute, devil, I got proof. I belong to the people of God. To make it more simple, it's kind of like this wedding ring I got on. If I take this wedding ring off, I'm still married to Lady M. If I leave it at the house, I'm still married to my wife. But I keep this ring on, so if some little, well, I won't say what, <laughs> want to try something, she'll see that I'm already taken. Baptism is a sign that these individuals are already taken, that they belong to God. So today we get ready to honor the Lord and celebrate the baptism. So first, we have Randy Jr. Odom that's going to come to be baptized. To be baptized. So you have a seat right there. Take me to the water. Take me to the RJ, we baptize you today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. To be baptized, take me to the water. Take me to the water. Take me to the water. Thomas, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. To be baptized, take me to the water, take me to the water, take me to the water. 
church. To be there. Sing, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Yes, I do. Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Yes. So, Zoe, we baptize you today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus' name. Yeah. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Come on, y'all. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Come on, sing it again, church. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Come on, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. That's who we love. Jesus. I love Jesus. Yes, Maya, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. I love Jesus. Come on, church. I love Jesus. Come on, sing it out. Jesus. Come on, yes, I do. Yes, I Come on, y'all sing it with us. Come on, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Come on, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Come on, yes, I do. Yes. Come on, one more time. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Come on, sing it with us. I love Jesus.